When you were growing up, who was your role model or your hero? Was it your dad? Was it a figure in a movie or a cartoon? Or was it your friend's dad? You know that this right here forever. Come, come. And there will be no surrender. This right here forever. I had a lot of heroes growing up, especially playing football. There was a guy by the name of Bruce Smith, Buffalo Bills. He'd get a sack, number seven, and he'd like, pew, 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 shoot the guns. LT for the New York Giants. I'm these, listen, football guys. And these were some of my heroes. And I had heroes in like the movies. If you ever saw the movie, am I the prettiest? Show enough. Am I the meanest? Show enough. Right? I like Bruce Lee Roy. I even liked Bruce Lee. You know, one of my favorite heroes of all time, of all those guys, one of them is my dad, and one of them is my mom. And they were my heroes, and they were my role models growing up. They came from the islands. Like, I always would look at my parents and say, man, I love them. It changed my life. And as I've gotten older, and I've become a father and a husband, right, I start to look on social media, and I start to see all these influencers. I'm an influencer because I can take a sexy picture and buy me by a yacht and buy my fancy car. Look, I want to show you today. By the way, I got a lot of buddies who got awesome cars and awesome homes, and I love it. But I wanted to share with you today how Satema, myself, how I choose my role models and my heroes, because you're going to want to listen to this, because you got to know this. Whoever you place as your role model and as your hero, you're not only going to listen to them, you're going to watch them and subconsciously you're going to want to be like them and follow them. And if you're not careful and you choose the wrong role model, or the wrong hero, you will find yourselves at the docks of hell wondering, how did I get here? And it's only because you listened and you watched and you emulated their lifestyle. So let me share with you three things that I do to choose my role models and heroes. I can promise you these might be really helpful for you. Rule number one. The heroes I look up to, they've got to be four-dimensional. What do I mean by four-dimensional? I'm looking at people who are physically fit. Now, look, you don't need to have washboard, six-pack abs, and, you know, walk around half-naked. Look, you don't have to do that. You got to take care of your body, right? The body's a temple. The body's a weapon. The body's powerful. So I like dudes who got that piece in check, even women. Again, you don't have to be a fitness model. You do got to take care of your body. I like guys who are loyal and are humble, like loyal to their spouse, humble in society, are in tune with God or purpose. I also follow heroes and mentors who are family men. Let me say this again, family men. Guys who have businesses, take care of their body, know how to worship, and who are family men. They have a wife, they have children. I get it, look, the marketplace is filled with lots of incredible people. In fact, I follow some of them. They don't have children, and there's a lot of reasons I do follow them, but man, the, the heroes and the, the role models and the people that I really listen to, they got children, because they know what I'm going through as a father. And of course, the last piece, look, you better have your money right. Now, you know, if you've got three of the four for me, that's big. So that's the first one, right? Do they qualify with the big four, physical, spiritual, relational, financial? Number two, the guys that I follow, I actually want to be like them. Let me say this again, that kind of goes to number one. I want to be like them, meaning I like how they drive, I like the cars they drive, I like the homes they live in, and I'm like I'm not mesmerized by Lambos and Ferraris. Look, again, a lot of my buddies drive those, but guess what, I'm a six foot four, 280 pound dude. I'm like the rock size. There's no, well, okay, I'm a little bit bigger than the rock. There's no way I'm gonna get in a Lamborghini, it's not comfortable. But I love the dudes that I follow because they have a lifestyle that I want to live. Let me say it again, they have a lifestyle that I want to live. And of course, family's important. So right, number one, do they qualify in the big four? They gotta have three out of the big four. Number two, I want to live their life. I love the impact that they make, like the way they treat other people, whether it's the Uber driver, the server, or even a business associate or business partner, it's the same. And the third thing is, it's what Jesus said. By their fruits, ye shall know them. What are the fruits? And I'm not talking about like an, a farmer who's producing fruits like apple. No, fruits are 
What do they produce in their life? Look at the results across the big four. Look at what they produce in the business world and the impact in the world. Look at how at their spouse and their family. Like, do they have a good family life? Look at spiritually speaking, are they in tune? Are they in alignment? And of course, like, do they take care of their body? And again, we've got to be a fitness model. It's got to take care of your body. These are how I choose my mentors. Every mentor or heel that I have had or that I've paid and invested in has helped me, right? There's a different mentor for a different season in life. The mentors that I hired today, I wasn't gonna hire them five years ago. The people that I follow today, I may not have been able to see them 10 years ago. And this is how I hire my mentors. This is how I look up to my role models, because you gotta know this. If you're listening to their podcast, if you're reading their books, and you think that that's the life you wanna live, you better make sure that they truly are the person you want to be like. Because I promise, you will emulate them, you will follow them, you will speak like them, you will even have a life like them. And if that's not the life you wanna live, tread with caution or don't follow them. Look, I talk a lot about this four-dimensional superhuman being, right? Physical, spiritual, relational, financial. And if you wanna know in depth how you can become that and really what it means, then click on the link below and download. Look, it's for free, it's a chart. It will help you in just a quick snapshot will give you some guidance and some starting points to get your life moving. Click on the link and look, do me a huge favor. Click the share button and tag two friends who need to hear this message. Maybe you know someone right now who's like looking at different role models and mentors. Maybe you know someone right now that's like kind of lost their way and they're trying to get back to where they really wanna be. Tag them and if there's a role model that you have in your life, put them below. I'd love to know who you look up to and who your role models are. Click the link, tag the friends, tag the role models, and go be a role model. Have an amazing day.